It was a home invasion that brought gunfire and a swarm of police to a southeast side neighborhood. Now we know drugs and a lot of them probably fuel the confrontation. Not on your sides, Craig Smith is live at the house with more on what this could mean to that neighborhood. Guy, police say it looks like what happened here was a matter of criminal versus criminal, but they say law-abiding neighbors do have a chance to head off the sort of trouble that happened here. A home invasion sent Tucson police rushing to this house. One man was shot. A woman was running through the neighborhood begging for help. Once police checked in the house, they questioned whether the invasion victims were innocent victims. Officers say they found 200 pounds of marijuana, two pounds of powdered cocaine, prescription drugs like oxycodone and Percocet, nine guns and 25,000 in cash. Carol Kraft says when new neighbors moved into that house three years ago, trouble moved in too. There's been a lot of dicey activity. There have been too many cars up there, loud parties, and I know that my neighbor and I have woken up in the night and heard shots. Officers say 33-year-old Deanna Balda was living in that house. Once officers looked inside, she went from home invasion victim to a drug suspect under arrest. Police say you can keep yourself safe if you let them know something seems shady in your neighborhood. And if you don't let us know, something like this can happen in your neighborhood. Someone could hit the wrong house. Um, shots could be fired, which, which are aimed for the specific house that go to, to other houses in the neighborhood. Now, police say they're still looking for the actual home invaders. The man who was shot at this house is not formally charged just yet. Police are waiting for him to get out of the hospital. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.